we make so much money. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for clicking on the video. My name is Nicole, and if you're new to this channel, what I do on this channel is basically just vlog about, you know, how I make a living, focusing on weight loss, skincare, and just, you know, vlogging my everyday life. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe for more videos, and, you know, I have a lot of content coming. So I know why you guys clicked on this video, and it's probably because you're interested in Uber Eats, which you should definitely be interested in it because you can definitely make so much money. All right, so before we get into the video and I tell you guys how I even started doing Uber Eats in the first place, let me give you guys like a little backstory. So I actually used to work in logistics for almost nine years. And although the money was amazing, guys, it was really, really good. I wasn't fulfilled in that job. I knew that that was something that I didn't want to do long term. Although the money was amazing, it just, it was very stressful. I'll just put it like that. So when COVID first happened, my company laid off at least 60% of their employees. And unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but I was one of them. And I was laid off. Um, I took almost a year off because uh, before I even started looking for another job because I actually had, you know, a decent amount of savings and I didn't have to go to work right away. So once my savings got a little low, I was like, you know what, let me actually start working. And I didn't, I knew I didn't want to go into another stressful job and I chose to, you know, work for Amazon. I, like I said, I knew I didn't want a stressful job. I still had savings. So I was like, you know what, even though this is a pay cut, at least I'm working to bring in a little more income and you know, it's not stressful. Long story short, I quit Amazon if you want to know why I quit it for Uber Eats. So I actually tried Uber Eats for one weekend and I saw how much money I was making and it was just crazy. So then I started taking more and more days off of Amazon and started replacing those days that I was supposed to work at Amazon with Uber Eats and I was just like, wow, I'm making so much more money. So that's how I got into Uber Eats in the first place because I've heard so many people, you know, tell me that, you know, they made a lot of money. I know one person that just does Uber and they make over 70000 a year. And I was like, wow, I just never thought like gig work, you know, you can make that much money, which you definitely can. So I've been doing Uber Eats for about a year now. And I do Uber Eats, why? Because you can make really good money, but also because I have an interior design business, I also have an interior design YouTube channel, which I'll link below. But with that interior design business, it takes a lot of my time. So whenever I don't have clients, I like to do Uber Eats to bring in, you know, some income. And I love how flexible it is. And I'm just going to tell you guys, like, I have made so much money doing Uber Eats. It's, like, mind-blowing. Sorry, I had to interrupt this video really quick because I wanted to let you know that if you sign up with Uber using my link, you'll receive a $2,400 bonus once you complete your first 200 orders, which is super easy to do. You can do that in less than two weeks. And just an FYI, this $2,400 bonus has nothing to do with the money that I earn every week. I just wanted to throw that in there so you'll earn $2,400 plus any additional money that I'm mentioning in the video. Unfortunately, when I signed up with Uber, I didn't have this option, but I'm giving it to you guys, which is amazing. So definitely sign up if you haven't already. So my, I wouldn't say this was my first check. I think this was maybe like two or three weeks in. The most money that I made in one week was, have it written down here, guys, right here. So the most money I made in one week was $2,594, guys, in one week. And I just want to put a disclaimer out there. That was my best week. Like, I couldn't believe how much money I made. But the downside of it is that I worked 83 hours, guys. I was working like crazy 
crazy like I was almost barely home and I know that's unrealistic for some people because you guys have lives and stuff like that but I just wanted to kind of put that in the air because maybe you're you know saving up for a trip or saving up for something specific I just want to know that you know you are able to work a ton of hours and I'm not sure why but Uber doesn't like stop you from working like I think they'll even allow you to go over 100 hours if you wanted to which I wouldn't recommend but like it's crazy so that's how much money I made in one week and although I know that 83 hours is unrealistic for most people I'm gonna also include some screenshots and proof that you know even with 40 hours which is what most people would work anyway you can make really good money too so in one week I had only 30 hours I made a thousand and eighteen dollars another week um, I worked 51 hours and I made one thousand four hundred and sixty seven dollars one week I did 64 hours I made one thousand seven hundred and forty three dollars one week I did 42 hours and I just want to say 42 hours with this amount that's about average of how much money I make if I only do like around that 40 hours so the 42 hours I made one thousand one hundred fifty seven dollars 43 um, hours I made nine hundred and eighty two dollars um, another week 41 hours I made one thousand three hundred eighty one dollars Another week, 49 hours, I made $982. Another week, I only did 15 hours. And this was actually my very first week of doing Uber Eats. I only worked 15 hours and I made $371. So as you guys see, it fluctuates. Now, a little disclaimer, I do understand that with Uber Eats, one, you're getting your gross pay, which is which means that they aren't taking any um, taxes out. So you're getting all of your money at once. You have to be responsible and put money aside so that way you can you know, pay taxes at the end of the year. I will make a separate video just so that this video isn't too long explaining you know, how you actually can you know, save money on your taxes and what to do so that way at the end of the year you're not paying so much money so that'll be a separate video but as you guys can see you make really good money doing uber eats now you may be wondering what those screenshots you probably see those promotions in there and those promotions is really what really makes you know the money so uber has new promotions every week so they'll they would do they would have one promotion monday until Thursday night or at least 4 a.m. on Friday is when it stops so they'll have one promotion within those four days so Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday that's one promotion then on Friday Saturday and Sunday it's an entirely new promotion and what I'll do is I'll actually insert some clips or screenshots of the type of promotions that they do have and every every week twice a week they'll give you a new promotion so it's really customizable so let's just say you're only able to work part-time you can just choose a quest they'll have a list of quests so let's just say you can only dedicate you know 10 trips or and when I say 10 trips or 10 deliveries that means 10 orders so let's just say you can only complete 10 orders in one week then you can just choose that quest. So let's just say 10 orders in one week, the promotion might be X amount of dollars. Or if you can do 100 trips, then you can get X amount of dollars. If you can only do 50 trips, you can only get an X amount of dollars. The trick is, is that you actually have to complete the number of trips before the promotion ends, which they'll tell you how long you have so you might have four days or you might have three days depending on if you're doing it during the week or the weekend and they have promotions every single week guys so it's really no reason why you shouldn't be making really really good money now 
like I said, I've only been doing Uber Eats for about a year now, so I'm not sure how many years that these promotions um, have been like a thing. But for the entire year that I've been doing it, twice a week there's always new promotions so you can really make so much money and one thing that you know people were saying in my last video when I told them you know I quit Amazon for Uber Eats they were saying you know Uber Eats isn't a real job it's a lot of wear and tear on your car those are the wear and tear on your car is a true thing but just really don't you know look down on Uber Eats because you have people that are extremely educated people that have really good jobs and maybe uber eats is like a side hustle for them also for me i had a really good job i can go back into logistics with my resume at any given moment and get a job like that i don't want to because I'm really trying to pursue my interior design company and with Uber Eats, it gives me the flexibility. So just don't be so quick to judge Uber Eats. I don't think that it's a retirement plan job. Like I don't think this is something you should do for the rest of your life, but it's definitely good for the meantime. And I never try Grubhub's or like Postmates or anything like that, but if you guys are interested in, you know, me doing that, I'll definitely give it a try just to, you know, let you guys know how it goes and how I compare it against Uber Eats, but hopefully that was helpful. What I'll do is I'll actually leave my um, link down below if you want to sign up for Uber Eats, then that way, you know, I can get like a referral bonus and then you can get something out of the deal too. So hopefully I answered all of your questions. If you have any more, definitely link it down below. But yeah, um, I think that's it guys. Hopefully I didn't forget anything, but I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.